Hey, good morning. Yeah, Frankie's passed out. We had a good run this morning. It's wet. And it would be cool out, but it's so humid that you don't want to put on a heavy jacket. Overcast. It's kind of sticky. Little thunder earlier, but so far just sprinkling. Sinuses going crazy. That reminds me, I'm going to take my medicine. Hold on. I'm experimenting with not taking the allergy pill and just taking the Mucinex because they're getting some feedback on the allergy pills uh, with that antihistamine or whatever that, and I experienced it with Benadryl, is that it can affect your memory. So, uh -uh -uh. Mucinex seems to be a more inert. I should, probably should look it up again. It's been a while. Okay. My hair is a big old fuzzball. A flat fuzzball. Oh, look at that. Just, I think, I've been, I had so much stress around the house because, well, the usual stuff. And then with this whole bathroom ordeal, coming and going, not showing up, uh, not giving a schedule, then the, uh, then the uh, supervisor, I, every day, it's like, what's the schedule for this week? What's the schedule for this week? What's the schedule for today? They didn't show up. Oh, that's on me. Or, oh, well, of course they didn't come today because that blah, blah. I'm like, well, how am I supposed to know that? So I'm trying to keep my mouth shut, trying to remember who I am. Try to um, be kind because you never know what people are going through. And then, and then it hit me like a train. It's like, wait a minute. They don't know what I'm going through. <laughs> Ooh. So then I really had to work on my serenity. Because I, I was thinking, you know, it's easy to go to. Don't you know who I am? Don't you know what I have been through? Don't you know what I go through? And, and it's just, you know, self-pity, arrogance, power and control. You know, we, we all want our way. We all want our way. And when it involves having people in your home, in your yard, Blocking where you park, uh, making everywhere you walk in your house noisy or um, kind of off limits without saying it's off limits. So it almost feels like kind of like the feeling you get when you're being gaslit. Like, I didn't say you couldn't go there. I didn't say they were going to show up today. I didn't say, and then it'd be like, Um, um, you know what? I, I don't, I, I really don't want to put my hair in a ponytail. I know it looks better, but I just really don't want to. I may end up doing something though. We'll see. I might just wear my cute little headband and forget about it. Go as a lioness today. I don't know. Uh, at least I've remembered to put my moisturizer on. I just used some castor oil. I'm going to use this again. Uh, I think it's too light, but I'm going to do it anyway, just for funsies. Got it from Timu. See? It's shiny. I don't know. So, let's see. What are we going to talk about today? <clears throat> How about this? One of the things that I have learned about people <clears throat> since I was a little girl, <clears throat> my great-grandmother taught me this. Um, 
Um, she said, birds of a feather flock together. And misery loves company. She taught me that. You know, you can hear that all you want, but I learned I I learned about that. Very young. Cuz she owned a bar restaurant. Mhm. Mm she owned a bar restaurant that was very popular in her area. I'm just reorganizing my foundations in order of color. In order of color. Because I don't like fussing with it all the time. <clears throat> so I'm rearranging things to better suit me. Mm -hmm. We'll see how this goes. So, one of one of the um, YouTube people that I really, really, really like um, is he's got good stuff. So I'm not discounting him. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. He's very, very talented in teaching Stoicism. I really appreciate that about him. Um, his last name is Hay. No. Yes. Hmm. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, if it's not, I'll tell you next time I see you. I can't get on my phone and check. You would think as often as I see it. What I do is I try to keep personalities out of my, out of my teachings. I... I don't want to know someone well enough about their personal opinions and their personal life. I don't want to know someone that well because I don't want to be turned off to what I'm learning from them that I really appreciate. I appreciate him as a teacher very, very much. I don't want that to change. But this is the second time I've had to unsubscribe to his newsletter because he's getting political about the presidential situation. And he doesn't mention names, but you know who he's talking about. And here's the thing. I don't care if you're for or against any person. I just think there are certain places to give your opinion and certain places not to give your opinion. I think it was rude back when he did it. Certainly wasn't in the mood to open up to my admired teacher to do that. And once again, I'm, I'm disappointed. reason I bring this up, oh, I didn't say anything last time, but this time I did say something. I just said, this is the second time I'm unsubscribing to your newsletter due to you adding your political nuance. Because it feels very dis divisive. So... I feel my disappointment in that. Uh, huh. You know what? I need I need to shave and I forgot to do that. I will do that later tonight maybe. I'll try to remember. Since I got those razors, I haven't been shaving in the shower. Um um
I've been <clears throat> using those. I'm gonna step out to blow my nose. I know blow my nose can be so rude. I think it's I was here's what came to my mind the other day is why do I always have to blow my nose when I'm on online and then it was like oh because I just massaged my face there's a you can really get a lot of uh <clears throat> good okay so this light makeup can only be used for for around a light I uh, overused it because this is I look a little too pale I need something with a little more rose to it but I can tell you even though I haven't shaved I like this foundation as far as Uh, perf perf performance, if you have to travel and you don't want something that's going to leak real easy and you're not going to be in hot, hot weather to where it's going to melt, I think it'd be fun to pack because it's lightweight. <clears throat> There's plenty there for a while. It's just that I'm not sure... If it's just because my face is so hairy, it just doesn't feel as smooth as some. And I think it's because I'm, I'm too hairy. That's that's what that's about. It's too light, so I'm going to add some powder. I have a freaking long day today. <sighs> okay, so back to the topic. Here's something that is really important for those of us who are sensitive. <laughs> we have to be able to protect ourselves if we want to be as healthy as possible. So whether it's a newsletter, whether it's someone we follow, whether it's a neighbor, whether it's our girlfriends or our male friend, he's just a male friend, or a family member even, or our spouse. We have to be able to disconnect from their negativity. And if we can't, except for people that you, you have decided to live with, like your spouse or an elderly parent, there's a there's there's a point where sometimes we have to decide how much time we're going to spend with them. And for me, especially if it's my pastor, my sponsor, my a, a teacher, or a girlfriend, a, a buddy that I hang out with a lot. I can only take so much negativity and then I'm good. I'm out. And depending on if I've given them several chances, there's a point where I disconnect. It's like it might break my heart to disconnect, but I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I'll live in my car first. But there are ways to disconnect from enough other negative things to help give us stamina to stay with the negative things we want to stay with. Right? Not everybody has a job they love. And they're always thinking, I should quit, I should quit, I should quit. But when they get rid of other negative things in their life, this job's not quite so bad. People keep thinking the uh, grass is greener on the other side. But I can tell you, sometimes it isn't. Sometimes there's a regret for quitting something that provided the means to do something else that you enjoy. 
money provides a lot. As long as you're not giving away your soul. So if I'm hanging around a friend or a job that's influencing my personality so I can't enjoy being home, there's a problem. If, if something's going on at work, at home, and it's affecting my performance at work, I have to decide, do I need that job enough to sacrifice my relationship? Because if I make myself physically and so emotionally sick that I can't do either one of them well, or well enough, a, being a well enough parent, a good enough parent, you don't have to be perfect. But what's going on? Yeah, I said I was going to wear less eyeliner. I told you this <clears throat> in my last video. Sorry, I, I just... Call me Tammy. Because I just... I need my eyeliner. And I have not, per, I haven't received, I think I tried to order some pencils. I think Plum Plum told me about some eyeliner pencils, but I haven't gotten them. And I think, um, I got, I got this from Timu, pretty sure. You know how they, they just have all kinds of, oh no, this is the LA Colors. I got this from Dollar General. Grow, G-R-O Fix. Eyeliner, Grow Fix eyeliner. I like the applicator on it. So, there. Oh, I don't like the color on this, but I can't return it. I've had it too long. So, I decided I'm going to just use it. I like taupe better. I wish I could get rid of this applicator and put this one in. I wonder... Let's try it. Let's try it. Hmm. Gotta be careful. You don't want these too contaminated. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I just don't like that shade of. I ordered some gray eyebrow goop of some kind. I don't know if it's brushes or pencils or whatever from Timu. So I'm hoping they're in this bag I have down here. We're going to see. I think I have enough time to open one. Ugh. With dogs, there's always something floating through the air. Okay, so here's here's what where I'm thinking. You know, there's a lot of political stuff going on right now. So let's just Call call it call a duck a duck. There's stuff going on. A lot of us are going through emotions about it. People are gonna go through emotions one way or another about it. So I wish Yeah, that's the same brand so I, at least I have a wand this can be thrown away because it's just too red I just don't want it I guess I'll just I'm gonna put it down here for emergencies for some reason I don't know why I just feel like I have to but there's no way to why wouldn't they make this aside that you could use too. I don't know. So, it is not easy to decide that some people or places have to be let go of to keep our sanity. Oh man, I gooped that up. I should have wiped the applicator off a little bit before I hit my eyebrows. 
Holy cow. What a mess. <laughs> Sorry. So, I haven't watched the news for days until last night. I caught up on the rhetoric. Uh, I caught up on a few days of people's opinions. You know, it's funny how it's almost like the news has turned into a reality show. It's like, what? what is it about the supply and demand that supports the gossip, the innuendos, the the, the stories that are half truth or deceitful. Well, I can tell you this. When I was younger, before sobriety taught me about character assassination, whether you like the person or not, it's, it's like, this is why I love stoicism. This is why I love recovery programs is it doesn't matter whose side you're on if you're not on the side of your goodness. You can be upset. You can be concerned. You can be worried. You can want to fight for your rights or argue for your rights. But there's... There are lines to stay between, right? There's fair fighting. Gossip and dissension is not fair. It's dirty and it pollutes the soul. And that's what I That's why I I don't spend time with people who gossip. I don't because it poisons it's poison. Why would I want to hang out in a poison factory? Now, if I have to have that friendship for some reason, I have to really reevaluate sometimes what my reason is. Is my reason honorable? Is it or not? Be honest. If I want to go in to being a dishonest person. If I want to be able to say. Yes I'm carrying on with this friendship relationship. This subscription. I'm going to do it for a reason. For instance with that stoic newsletter. Daily stoic newsletter I was ta talking about. I can get my stoicism somewhere else. I can read it in a book. I, I have one of his books. I'm not turning my back on his products, I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn away from, turn my back on. Um, I want that back there where I don't have to look at it. I don't have to smell it. I don't need his opinion page. I have his book. It's a good product. If there's politics in there, I'll rip that page out. It's my book. I'm not going to poison myself with gossip. For either side. I don't care if he agrees with me. Or is against me. It's gossip. I was. I was. When I was younger. I, it was so important for me to try to find a tribe. Because I didn't have one. I wasn't born into one. And every time I thought I was going to have a tribe. I was wrong. It just, it just didn't happen for me. So, sometimes I gave up who I felt like I was so that I could have a tribe. 
And it's weird. I wasn't smart enough, trained enough, coached enough, sponsored enough to know what I was doing. I thought I was just trying to survive. I just wanted, I just wanted someone to like me. So I hung out with people who, especially these girls from work, you, every time you'd walk into the back room, into the personnel room, break room, whatever you call it, um, you knew some, you were interrupting someone from talking about you. It was just a little snake pit. Everybody knew it. So when I joined a recovery program while I was working there, it was new. One of the things that my sponsor taught me was that I had to start being aware of things that were interrupting my sobriety, my, my serenity, my attempt at serenity. I had to find a way to stop putting myself in places that made me feel like shit. And that meant there for a while, I didn't have any girlfriends. None. Because all my girlfriends were drinking buddies. And if they didn't drink like I did, we didn't hang out. If they did drink like I did, we hung out. And then... If they drank like I did, they were usually gossipers. They had to have something to talk about because you can't talk about drinking and dancing all the time. So it would be something else. And then we had the normies who were gossiping and pointing the finger at all of us because we were usually hungover. So they had plenty to talk about. Too bad. So sad. But true. Too bad, so sad, but true. So it's about... It's about being selective. There are some people who will only use a certain type of makeup or a certain brands of clothes or shoes. They'll only live in a certain neighborhood, but they spend time with gossipy people. Gossipy people. And that's too bad. Because it takes the... Oh, what do you want to say? The value? It takes the value out of the relationships. Hmm. Look at that. Hmm. Maybe blend it a little more. I don't know. Okay. So, yeah, I'm kind of worked up about that. You know, I've, I've had... I've had to give up friendships before, you know, as the longer I was sober, the more, the longer I was involved in my spiritual growth and my physical health, the longer I was going down that path, the more I was bumping into people who had similar belief systems as, as, as me. Oops. Need a little more color on that. I, sh I have, yes, I'm doing the eyeliner again, but I am subduing it with a dark powder. <clears throat> so hopefully that makes a difference. 
I don't know, really. <clears throat> anyway, I've had to give up some people that were, I thought were very attractive to have in my friendship resume. But if they couldn't allow me to have my space to, to be friends with who I wanted to be friends with or follow people I wanted to follow, if I had to be embarrassed or shamed from my political opinions, beliefs, leanings, you know what? <clears throat> I understand that somebody would feel so strongly that they want to get ugly about it. It's just not my cup of tea. That's just not my cup of tea. I can say this. I... I remember being... Such a scrawny, scrawny little kid. I mean, it's skin and bones. I don't know if you know what size six X is, but I was a six X into the third or fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade. Hmm. Um, I don't remember what grade I was in. I think fifth grade, but that's, I was a, basically a skeleton, um, didn't have much food to eat. <clears throat> and, um, back then DCFS wasn't really a big thing. You could lie out of it. They would document, document, document. So people were getting paychecks, but there weren't a lot of, by the time we got in the system, I was, you know, old enough, seriously, to take care of myself. And I was already rebelling against having any kind of foster family or to have someone adopt me. I was already embittered, so to speak. So if somebody wanted me, I've had a couple families who wanted me, but I didn't know how to treat them. Isn't that sad? Some good families wanted to take care of me for, you know, the rest of my childhood. But I just couldn't do it. I'd run away. So sad, right? So anyway. But when I finally settled down and looked at all the things that I lost because of my ego and my pride, that's what made me decide to really commit to the type of person I want to be, regardless of those around me. <clears throat> I ran and hid from integrity, courage, <sighs> self-discipline because I was so rebellious. I don't want to be that rebellious anymore. It's exhausting being rebellious. Exhausting. So, instead of being rebellious, I look at my inner belief system. What's important to me? Um, if anybody wants to get political, talk about our beliefs. We can do that. Let me know in the comments and I'll risk it. I don't mind. I'm just not going to do it because I don't want to make anybody else uncomfortable when it's not necessary. If it's necessary because y'all want to feel supported and encouraged, I'm here for that. But I'm not here to bicker, argue, and complain about the other side. Um, just not something I think is is necessary. I think it's sad that people are being so ugly 
and have been ugly for a long time. Okay, I gotta open this too new stuff because I just can't stand it anymore. Look at Frankie. He's acting exhausted. I try to cut these so I can reuse the bags without any trouble. So, I'm trying to do this without making too much noise or taking too long, but I cannot waste a bag. I don't like these bags being in the Oh, I forgot it ordered this. It's a baseball cap. I've ordered these things so long ago. And because I don't want, I don't order from the local warehouse because they all, I have the patience to wait until it comes from China. And you might as well buy it up before the tariffs get um look at that i haven't seen corduroy in so long i bought a hat not too long ago through them that was see they don't do the fine finish work look at that they don't do the fine finish work sometimes the fine finish work doesn't show or doesn't matter it's just that when the fine finish work isn't done I don't feel great about it. They do have the the one that I ordered that was knit um, is the knit is good, but the bill just flops around in there in the knit. So it was worth the three dollars I spent for it to take the dogs out in the winter. I don't have to worry about getting it dirty. I'll get my three dollars wear out of it. And this can oh <laughs> see that finish work? That's too bad. Dang, I wish that had the look at that. The see this that white right there. I don't wear my hats like this. I wear them up a little higher normally. So the finish work counts. The finish work matters. I want to be able to wear it like this. But look, I don't know. Reminds me of the flying nun. Dang it. That's disappointing. That hat's going back. That is too bad. Ah, that's sad. Because it I like I like that shade and I like Corduroy. Okay, so I have a Swiffer. I use it all the time. And I look for deals. These are obviously cheap and thin compared to the ones that you buy at Walmart. However, they work the same. They, these don't fall apart on the Swiffer. Even if I missed them a little bit with water to get a little spot here or there, they're not falling apart. So I can either use a cheap rag or a more expensive rag and do the same job. I like the feel, the look of the other ones. They're just a little thicker than this. I don't care. I'm keeping them. So that's the deal, Pickle. Oh, is this my gray eyebrow? I hope so. I'm gonna try something on your back. Thank you. Well, I'm gonna try this makeup later. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do the rest of this later. I didn't realize how late it was getting and I just I think I have somebody to help me 
fix my computer issues. So I'm going to take these and put them over there. And we'll do some more later. But um, none of the reviews prepared me for this lining. So I will write a review on this. I don't write a review on anything unless something really stands out to me. If somebody would have mentioned that, uh, it's kind of like the, the hair pieces I've gotten or the the baseball caps with a wig on them. I, hey You has a Timu hauling or, or shopping hauling channel and she has one. And I think, oh, that's so cute, I want one. But my head isn't shaped the same as hers, I guess. And so when the couple that I tried, it was just way too obvious um, that the the wig wasn't my hair. And I just, I, I don't like that. I don't like that look. All right. Anyway, we'll keep trying maybe. Y'all have a blessed day. Remember who you are. Remember who you're trying to be and stay the course. If you get off course, get back on. Look for your support group, your sponsor. Um, look for the philosophies that you believe in to help recenter. Especially if you used to be a bad girl. Right? Temptation is there. But promise, I promise you, feeling clean and, and sober of mind and body. Whether you have outside drugs and alcohol involved. It's, it's the thoughts, right? We, the cleaner we think, the cleaner we feel, the cleaner we live. All right. Mwah. Love you. Bye for now.